Hello and welcome back to the Kingdom Gazette, where we share all the little details that you need to know about everything Disney. If you want to learn about the ins and outs of all your favourite Disney rides, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss a video. In today's episode, we're going to be diving into the details of one of Walt Disney World's newest and most popular attractions, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This trackless dark ride, the first one actually based around the most famous mouse himself, opened in early 2020. You'll find it located in Disney's Hollywood Studios in Orlando, Florida. It's easy enough to spot once you're in the park itself with just a quick stroll straight down Hollywood Boulevard. That's the main street running straight from the park's entrance all the way down to the iconic Chinese theatre at the end. Speaking of which, that's where you'll find Mickey and Minnie's, in that theatre itself. The closest restrooms are located to the left-hand side of the theatre, as well as multiple snack and refreshment stands, should you need some sustenance before getting in line to meet the Fab Five on their adventure. Stroller parking is also close at hand, and can be found right in front of those restrooms that we just mentioned, as well as dotted around the front of the theatre itself on the main walkway. It's not hard to spot due to plenty of signage, but there is naturally a lot of foot traffic around this spot in the park, so be prepared to weave in and out of a few folks with strollers in tow. There's no height requirement on Mickey and Minnie's, making it a great one to share with the youngest members of the family. And though there's plenty of movement and spinning from the trackless cars, there's no drops, so even the nervous riders should enjoy this one. Speaking of being spun around and doing the conga, wait, what? This ride does have a single lap bar star restraint that stretches all the way across the seats. Fastpass Plus wise, we can't really speak to how it'll be for this ride moving forward, but our suggestion is that if this is an absolute must do for your group, head straight down Hollywood Boulevard and get yourselves in line as soon as the park opens. Rope dropping Mickey and Minnie's should give you a pretty decent chance of cutting down what can be a sizable wait of an hour or more at other times of the day. One thing we definitely want to mention about the queue for this ride is that the extended portion, which is used to cope with the longer wait times or to accommodate physical distancing, is very much outside and directly in the Florida sun. The line at least does tend to move quickly, but we want you to be prepared with your sunscreen and water bottles just in case. Once you weave yourself around to the front of the theatre itself, you'll find a lot more in the way of umbrellas for coverage and some shade coming from the building itself. Inside the building, make sure to keep your eyes peeled for fun movie-style posters of Mickey and the others getting into all kinds of trouble and adventure. There is a fantastic moment in the standby queue where, with a touch of Disney magic, the wall breaks open to reveal a walkway for guests. Sadly though, that effect is not currently being used at the time of recording due to those physical distancing measures. We can't wait until it comes back though because it always gets a bit of a gasp from Disney guests. Watch out for the details in this queue and of course on the ride itself. There are so many little touches that you'd swear were hand drawn and pulled straight from the cartoon world and they really help to set the scene for all of the Mickey themed mayhem that lays ahead. As we mentioned, this ride has long bench style seats with that single lap bar restraint and they are long enough to fit a group of four to five people all together on one row, which I can tell you as a family of five is rather nice. There are two benches to each car bustling along behind Goofy train and each car will give you a slightly different experience due to this being a trackless ride. So if you feel the need to ride this one more than once, you'll have a great excuse to do so. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway centers around a gentle train ride through the park gone awry. The train accidentally takes a wrong turn, you can thank engineer Goofy for that part, and all kinds of adventure and family-friendly danger ensues. From tornadoes to waterfalls, carnivals to big cities, the most mind-blowing thing about this attraction is the floor-to-ceiling screens that act as rapidly changing and unbelievably entertaining environments that look like they've been torn straight out of the Mickey Mouse and Friends shorts. As we mentioned earlier, each car goes off on its own trackless journey, and while you share a room, it's impossible to know exactly which direction or what kind of animated world you'll end up in next. Personally, we enjoy playing Spot Donald throughout the whole ride as his slapstick-style gags pop up in almost every room and can't help but get us giggling. With a more than catchy song, you'll be humming it all day, we guarantee it, and a cute new mascot in the way of Tubi, 
Mickey and Minnie's is a fun-filled train ride that classic Disney lovers of all ages are bound to get a kick out of. Oh, and if you'd like to see exactly how Mickey and Minnie's unfolds for its riders, then check out the link to our full point of view ride through video here and down below in the description box. Like many Disney World attractions, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway does exit through a gift shop of sorts. It's more of a pop-up really with a limited selection, but what merch they do have is tons of fun. And we definitely recommend checking out the cute Chuby merchandise if you're an instant fan like we were. Overall, this is on the top of our list for anyone who simply loves Mickey and Friends, especially if you're a fan of the newer shorts. It's well worth the wait in our opinion, since it's an attraction unlike any other right now at Disney World. And it's a great option for visitors of all heights and ages, and even those who may be more on the nervous side when it comes to Disney dark rides. Have you ridden Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway yet? If you have, don't forget to tell us what you think down below in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell as well as check out the blog and the socials. Oh, and don't forget to give a little magic to someone today.